everyone, so today I thought I'd do a chit chat, get ready with me because I'm planning on doing a couple videos today. I have to put on makeup, you know how it is. And I feel like wearing purple lips, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we're just going to wait and see. <laughs> Sorry if my straps keep falling down, um, I can't help it. Eh. Okay, I'm going to start off with a little bit of setting spray before my foundation, just because it does help your foundation last throughout the day a lot better. Today we're going to use my Stila One Step Correct. Primer. As you can see it's got a whole lot of different colours. There's green in there to counteract redness. There's a little bit of lilac in there to kind of brighten up your skin tone a bit. So just put this all over. I love this primer so much. It's really moisturising as well. Gives you a little bit of dewy finish. So it will help to make your foundation look a little bit more dewy. I haven't used this foundation in a really long time so I'm going to use it today. Because I've been totally neglecting it. Um, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation SPF 15. Super high coverage, quite thick, similar to like Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation except probably thicker and a bit more coverage. I'm taking that with my flat top face brush by So Beauty. My shade is Light Medium Sand. And I really like to buff this into my skin so it doesn't look too cakey. a little bit too pale for me but we'll fix that with bronzer soon. I'm going to use this highlighting contouring sculpting palette by Motives. This is in fire and I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush and just contour my cheeks a bit. And then I'm going to use the pink shade underneath my eyes. That's just helped to correct the darkness and then I'm going to go over top with, can you hear the dogs playing? They're like squeaking their squeaky toy. And then I'm going to go over just with a normal concealer. So this is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade NW20. Sorry if there's like light beams on me. It is super bright outside. I actually had to pull my um, desk away from the window because it was so bright and didn't help too much. <laughs> I'm going to take the NARS Matte Multiple in Anguilla, if that's how you pronounce it, and put it on my cheeks. And then with a damp beauty blender, I'm going to take my Jimmy Glow All Over Radiance Cream by Jimmy Kid in Iced Gold, which looks like that. This is like a cream formula, so I'm just taking the pointed side of my beauty blender and applying that onto my cheekbones. Hopefully you can see that. Do, do, do. <laughs> I'm going for super dewy skin. I'm going to deepen up my contour with this matte multiple of my NARS in oh, Vienge, Vien, oh god, someone told me how to pronounce this and I can't remember. Vienge, Vienchan or something? I don't know. Let's just say it's one of the brown ones. And then to set everything down, while still remaining quite dewy, I'm going to use this NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder by NARS. Wait, I said that. <laughs> I think I'm going to add more bronzer as well because I want to be really bronzed up. I'm going to go on with the bronzer from this palette here which is by Mirabella and it's called Glowing. I'm just going to emphasize my contour once again. Now for my brows and taking my brow bar to go and whenever I mention the brow bar to go I do have a discount code in the down bar if you scroll down to like my online shopping links and everything it's under whitening lightning and you can get I think it's like 20% off 25% off I just use the wax to stick everything down and then I'm going to go in with my dip brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills
Okay, I'm gonna find something for my lips now because I want to be able to match my eye makeup to my lips because I know what kind of lip color I want to wear. Okay, I'm gonna start with Magenta by MAC just to line up my lips a little bit. Okay, once I've got my lips lined, I am going to take my lipstick, and it doesn't match the lip liner at all, but I'm just going to roll with it, because I find with these lipsticks, they can be quite drying, so I need something to, like, guide me, otherwise I can go a bit crazy and it can look a bit messy, but this is by Starlight by Melt Cosmetics. Okay, now that that's on, I am going to go onto my eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know if I was even filming just then. What I did, <laughs> this is so bad, oh my gosh. I put Saddle, which is this color here by MAC, into my crease, which is a really warm brown. It's so simple, so I'll just tell you what I did. <laughs> and then on my lid is this L'Oreal Color Infallible Eyeshadow in Gold Imperial. Then on my outer corner, I have Bronze by MAC. Super simple, and then I'm going to do some stuff on the lower lash line. And at the moment, I'm just using my Their Real Push Up Liner to line my eyes. Oh, I don't know how I keep, like, sometimes I just don't know what goes through my mind. I've actually figured out the less you unwind the push up liner, the easier it is. If you unwind it too much, like get too much product on the actual little tip, it's a lot harder to apply for some reason. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the lower lash line. Actually, first I'm just going to highlight. I'm going to use Nylon by MAC and I'm going to put that on my inner corner and my brow bone a little bit. On my lower lash line, I'm going to start with a brown eyeliner. This is Kat Von D Immortal Love. So I'm going to put that on my waterline and push it into my lashes a little bit. Now I'm going to take the colour Beautiful Iris, which is this one here, a nice bright purple. And I'm going to apply that on a taper blender brush. Put that underneath my eye a bit and then I'm going to take the color Satellite Dreams which is darker and I'm going to smudge the brown down with that Now I'm going to use some Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. For my lashes, I'm using the Wonderlust by EXO Beauty, which look like this. But first of all, of course, just put on a little bit of mascara. This is the 5-in-1 by Collection. So I did it again. I stopped recording for some reason straight after this clip. So here are some photos of the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was basically done by the time I stopped recording. I don't know what was up with me this day, but anyway, really sorry about that. This is how the look came out. I really like it. It's really simple. You could wear this every day with a different colored lip if you wanted to. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Sorry about my voice. I'm very sick right now. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Take my brush I used in my crease at the beginning and then just very carefully start to blend out 